<laughs> we don't have Italian deer in Tennessee. No, All we right, don't. Take three. <laughs> Start over. Hey, y'all, this is Misty here, and um, this is about the third or fourth time I've done this because I can't get it right. We're going to have some Italian deer meat for supper tonight. And most people will know it as Italian beef. And my husband grew up with Italian beef in southern Illinois. This man, he uh, chucks. Chucks Italian beef. Chucks Italian beef. Best Italian beef he said ever. And I've never been able to copy it. We've never. He's never tasted nothing like it. But I did basically the same recipe. But um, and this is the way I'm going to do it here. Right now I've got um, some onions chopped up and sauteed. And I've got them sauteed in here because my meat is already cooked is the reason why. And I got me some sweet banana peppers that I can and I put some in here. And also some jalapeno peppers to give them some good flavor. Saute and that should get kind of softened up. And I'm going to take and put my jar deer meat in there. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use one in a quart and pint. Add some seasonings, some Worcestershire sauce, and I don't have my Italian seasoning out right here. I'm gonna put some Italian seasoning in it. And I have looked up several recipes for this, and the one thing I do not have here that I wanna pick up and try it again is dried Italian dressing mix, like you would get ranch dressing mix, but it's Italian. And I've never got any of it tried it. And all the recipes I've seen, that's one of the main ingredients that I'm not having. I think that's what I'm leaving out that he's not getting. But it's still really good what I do. And you want to make you some homemade buns. I'm not making none because we're watching our bread intake right now. But um, I'm going to make this for you and show it to you when I get done. And uh, see it turns out. It tastes better than it looks. There it is. And he had this little bitty cracker box restaurant, I want to tell you, that probably wouldn't hold 10 people stacked in there like cordwood. And there was a line going out the door to this place. And do you remember the soup Nazi anybody on Seinfeld? That's the way he was. If you said anything wrong at all, he threw you out and you didn't get an Italian beef. So I didn't say anything. And he gave you a little jalapeno pepper and a piece of aluminum foil? Three and a piece of aluminum foil and the extra aluminum foil peppers with a dime for them. But they were just the greatest tasting stuff that I've ever seen. And we cannot get even close to it. But also I was going to mention with this recipe, all the other ones that I've noticed, you want to, uh, if you get roast or uh, some kind of sort of one tip steak or if you have some raw deer meat, you want to start raw. If I had a, um, not a pressure canner, but a pressure cooker, or even a, um, what are they, crock pots. A crock pot that would really be it. You want to cook it in there and start it raw to add all your ingredients to it and your onions and stuff. And let all that slow cook together and simmer all those flavors together and you're going to have a much better product. I'm starting out with already cooked meat, so I kind of, that's why I soften my onions first. And I'm going to let it just kind of slowly cook over to the side because once you can deer meat and you cook it too long, I personally think it gets tough when it's not tough to begin with. So uh, that's kind of what I do. All right, we got this done and we're getting ready to eat a meal. And we have a few baked potatoes and a salad to go with it. And, mm, turned out very good. Now, these are really good if you want to get some rolls or make you some homemade buns or something and put on it and make a delicious sandwich. And that's what it should be for. But uh, I just wanted to show you all that. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day and God bless.